In this world of cutthroat competition and want for money, risk is a word we often like to avoid. However, for entrepreneurs like Nitin Kama, risk is something that made them a success story. And this is a story that inspires us. I started training now 17 years of age. So, um, why did I start training? Because uh, I wanted a guitar back then and my uh, parents refused to give me the money. And the easiest way I found out was to go gamble and try getting it. You know? So, uh, yeah, back then it was gambling. Uh, so I took some money, I went to uh, a bucket shop and tried to call the price of a stock. Uh, that's how I, how I got hooked in you know, so then. In 2005, I happened to uh, meet uh, a friend now uh, uh, at a gym. And uh, we were on a treadmill, they asked, Dude, what do you do for a living? I told I trade for a living. We caught up for drinks the same night. And I was trading with uh, ICICI back then. So I logged in, I showed my own performance. He was impressed. I think we both were enjoying our you know, scotches and then uh, he cut me a check for 25 lakhs. You know, so the next day I quit my job and uh, I started a business called Kamath Associates. It was, uh, it was an advisory business. I was advising people how to trade the stock markets. On the first week itself, I just felt a clear vibe. You know, I knew that this guy had something in him and I wanted to start working with him. And uh, I just told him, I'm going to start coming to your office. I didn't even give him an opportunity to decide whether he wants me or not. And the gentleman that he is, he said, fine, you can start coming in. And I started coming in the next day and learned everything that I had to learn about the markets with him. In 2010, Nitin Kamuk introduced the concept of discount brokerage in India through his online discount brokerage firm, Zeroda. Uh, Roda means barrier in Sanskrit. You know, so it's like saying zero values, you know. So now the, the idea behind starting Zeroda was I, uh, before starting Zeroda for over 12 years, I uh, traded with every brokerage in the country possible. And then uh, generally, you know, the financial services business in India are kind of uh, uh, quite bullish in the way they charge you money, you know. So, uh, so the plan was to kind of bring in transparency into that space. Uh, so what we did when we started Zeroda was we said we will work on my and support only online traders or investors from across the country. You know? So it so keeps our cost low. Uh, in turn, pass the benefit back to the client. A simple model. This business plan was just three pages. A, the whole business plan for the multi-million dollar company Zeroda that it is today was three pages. He's the kind of guy who will say something and ensures he sticks to his words. Uh, working for him doesn't feel like you work for a regular employer. So he treats everyone like his real good buddies and you know that in that kind of makes you work harder for him, harder for the company. The great things about him is even if he's not good at something, he gives his hundred percent. You know, he wants he's he wants to learn. He like uh, when I had a baby he was absolutely he didn't have any he, he didn't know how to hold the baby, but I mean he absolutely gave his 100% and now you know, he's like really great. He's in music, tries to hold him as much as possible, tries to spend as much time as possible. He's still always with his laptop. <laughs> how do you squeeze toothpaste, right? Uh, I was always the one who used to squeeze it, right? And uh, I kind of realized the importance of squeezing it from the bottom because uh, very soon we so he keeps squeezing into the place in the middle very soon and now put the base and talk to the two things, right? They had to go all the way down. I think what my wife brought in was focus in my life. Uh, today, a lot of people call it as passion, uh, but then I think back then it was my life between passion and foolishness. I think you need to be foolish to be passionate. You know? So uh, it could have uh, very well not worked out for me. I think uh, the stars all aligned right. Uh, and I think one of my points in my life, I think, just uh, made it all the change. I stopped running behind money. So this happened sometime in 2008. Because that was always the time I wants to make a lot of money. But I think yeah, somewhere around 2008 9, and there was a realization that money shouldn't be the driving force. Yeah, so I, I guess you know, there's someone out there who's trying to do business, and you know, I'd say money always follows. You know, so you cannot run behind money.